small amounts of contrast medium were again administered into the stomach at the beginning of phase 3. These accumulate in the gastric body. A tonic contraction of the gastric reservoir associated with a forceful peristaltic wave of the gastric body propels the contrast medium distally. These forceful contractions act as a housekeeper that cleans the stomach completely of residues of chyme and secretions. A second contraction follows. While the first peristaltic wave fades out at the terminal antrum, the second wave forces the residues of gastric content across the pylorus into the duodenum. At this moment, the pylorus opens widely, the proximal duodenum is relaxed, and duodenal contractions cease. There is therefore perfect antral pyloric duodenal coordination during phase 3. The emptied contrast medium is rapidly propelled to the jejunum. We now observe the distal duodenum and proximal jejunum. The blue arrow marks the end of the duodenal peristaltic waves. The peristaltic waves originating at the duodenal bulb propagate to the end of the duodenum. Each subsequent wave terminates a few millimeters further distally. The length of the intestinal segment occupied by the phase 3 thereby increases. During phase 3, the peristaltic waves occur at maximal frequency. When the peristaltic waves have reached the proximal jejunum, the phase 3 begins to migrate aborally. This is produced by each subsequent wave starting and terminating a few millimeters further distally. Here we observe the aboral region of the peristaltic waves and see the aboral migration of the phase 3. The aboral migration is elucidated by time-lapse recording. The chyme that has accumulated in front of the phase 3 is propelled further distally by the peristaltic waves. The dotted line shows the distance of migration from the distal duodenum to the proximal jejunum during the period of observation. Towards the end of a phase 3, contrast medium is again administered into the stomach. A peristaltic wave starting at the gastric body forces the contrast medium across the pylorus into the duodenum. The peristaltic waves of the duodenum propel the contrast medium rapidly to the jejunum because the waves travel over a long distance. The contrast medium accumulates in front of the phase 3 in the jejunal loops.